In this video, I'm going to continue to talk about linear codes, specifically if you have a generating matrix G, how you would obtain the code words from it. So here I have an example. Let C um, be a 7-4 code with a generating matrix G, which I have put in standard form and written here for you. The question is, how do we get the code words? What are the code words? Um, step one to this, we have to count the rows. That's easy enough. We can see that the generating matrix has one, two, three, four rows. Okay, so in step two, we have to find all binary row vectors with this length. So we need to find all binary row row vectors with a, with a length of 4. So all possible combinations of 1 and 0, um, that is 4 things long, for example, like 0, 1, 0, 1, or 0, 0, 0, 0. So any combination of 1 and 0, that is 4 digits long. So to do that, we have to know how many there are. So in order to calculate that, we take the four because there are four places and then we square it because your options are one and zero. So you have two different options. Um, which makes it four squared. So we can have 16 row vectors. Now that we know that we can form the row vectors. Now how we do that is um, just sort of a, uh, a systematic approach of doing it is to take 16 divided by 2. So that's 8. So I'm going to put 8 zeros first. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we take the 8 and divide it by 2. Um, get four. So one, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four ones. One, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four ones. And I'm just going to keep chopping the number um, I have in half. Let's see, four divided by two is two. Um, so for the next one, I'm going to only do two of each before I keep switching. So zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one, all the way down. And then lastly, we have two divided, oops, two divided by two is one. And we'll just switch back and forth. Zero, one, zero, one, all the way down. And now we have 16 different row vectors, the 16 possible row vectors, assuming um, they're length 4, and it's binary. So binary being 1s and zeros. Yep, so those are, that's step 2. We have generated our binary row vectors over here. And then in step three, um, and our last step is just multiplying these row vectors times G. So for example, our, I will use, um, uh, let's say this row vector right here. We have to do it for all of them, but I'm just gonna use this one as an example. So we're gonna take that and multiply it times G. So, just a quick reminder on how to do that. You're going to um, take the zero, multiply it here, take this one, multiply it here, And then we are going to add all those numbers up. So 0 times 1, 0, plus 1 times 0, 0, 
plus 1 times 0 here is 0, and 1 times 0 here is 0. So grand total of 0 there. But then our next step in multiplying the matrix will be taking this one, taking this um, row vector and multiplying it times the next one. So 0 times this 0, 1 times this one, like that. And then 0 times 0 is 0, plus 1 times 1 is 1, plus 1 times 0 is 0, plus 1 times 0 is 0. And we would keep doing that um, until we got to the end. And as you can see that this right here would add up to 0, this would add up to 1. So we would end up with a code word starting with 0, going on to 1, and then it would be, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. This thing would be seven, um, 7 digits long, and that would be a code word. Now, if we do that same process where we are multiplying the row vector times G, the generating matrix, for all of these, you will have generated all the code words for your given generating matrix.